else's. Good morning. Is this where I sign up? You do indeed. Yeah. Travelling is fantastic, but these places are nothing without the people. It's the people that make Attitude what it is. And boy, have I met some incredible folks along the way. Your first time in the water, what was that like? I was very scary because um, they're drowning and things in the tracking. Get water in my tracking, I can't breathe, so yeah, it's pretty scary. Um, but get used to it, you just gotta trust people around you. I think I'm, I've got um, strong empathy as well. And so I can, I can relate to people quite easily, no matter what sort of situation or background they've come from. Unlike most girls her age, Gina has little choice of who she'll live with and few housing options. My flat mate's sitting at the table. But the positive in her story is that Gina has been supported in her quest for independence. She's out flatting and loves it. What choices are you able to make now that you've been now that you've gone flatting? Well, there's heaps of things. I can basically do what I like. Which and is? I can go out, go home when I like. I can have people over for dinner. I can bring people. All sorts of things. Get up to a lot of mischief. So do you miss home? I don't at all. Fell off the board. Did you? Was it fun? Yeah, but I got such a week. Because it's so tiny, so they're kindly coming out to see me. Hello. This young boy, he's got an intellectual disability. He barely leaves his house. I like your T-shirt. T-shirt's good. T-shirt, man, Lamar. Used to sleep here. Yeah, I used to sleep here. If you notice, people still sleep here. All back here. I don't have a problem with This is what I'm afraid now for me because I feel like I don't deserve anything. Every time I would do good, and then I'll make sure I kick myself down. You gotta remember, over the past six years, I've been involved in over 800 stories, you know, not personally 800 stories, but being in the office, and been surrounded by, you know, that many stories. I guess the one person that I always think about um, is Tai Kami, uh, the young girl from Tonga. She turned 13 last week, and um, she sends an email around something sort of saying, uh, one of my gifts is cancer. And then later down the email, she says, um, at the same time, another gift is God has given me um, the faith to cope with it. I know he watches over me. She died of uh, a facial tumour. Before she died, she wrote a song. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful song that just haunts me. Every time I hear it, I just, I just well up, you know, because, um, you know, she encompasses what it is to be, you know, what it is to be human, you know, she was, she was beautiful. I mean, I know there will be people who will ask why, like, why did, why did Ty come this far only to, you know, get cancer again and fail <clears throat> and lose? And I just want these people to understand that I haven't lost anything. And I don't think I'm a loser. And I think all the people who I've met who passed away to cancer, they weren't losers. They kept fighting to the end. And that's strength and that's courage. I've, I met so many wonderful people. I've always loved doing stories with kids. Um, I think um, they definitely bring out the best in me. I, I love their energy. And uh, the two uh, kids that stick out in my mind are, are Shakti and, and little Jaden. We do one action. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. I think he finds 
joy and humour in just about every situation there is. <laughs> Got it! And that's how I would sum him up. He's, he's just an attraction of life. Wicked on wheels, that's young Jaden Novold. Just four years old, he blats about in his custom-built wheelchair and his mates keep up if they can. Go, go, go. Let's go faster, faster. He's fast, all right. I'm going to have to be on my game today because young Jaden's come a long way since he got wheels. It's meant that he can just be part of the crew, a regular kid. Hey, Jaden. Yeah! Jaden Movold has spina bifida. We've been following his progress for three years. Lise was four months pregnant when a scan revealed her baby's spine had not completely closed in those first weeks of development. They were told Jaden would be paralysed and might also have brain damage. The strong recommendation was to abort. Since his birth, there have been dozens of surgeries including a shunt to relieve pressure on his brain. It has to be replaced regularly. But none of this has affected his appetite for life. When you look at what he's gone through over the, the, you know, his past almost five years and the challenges he's faced and all the, the surgeries and so on and even the frustrations he must feel when he wants to get somewhere fast and his legs aren't working well and you know, for someone to still have such a great attitude, he's quite inspiring. Who's your favourite rugby player? Well, I don't know who they are. Who cares about them anyway? Tell me about who's your favourite. That guy. You've got to, to try and get the ball with one hand. OK. You, when nine-year-old Shakti was go. introduced to tennis, he didn't have the strength to pick up a tennis ball, let alone hold a racket. His parents brought him to me when he was just five years old, I think, so he's now nine. Progress, leaps and bounds. Go. The medical Go. profession offered basic push. advice to Shakti's parents. Just to get him involved ah, in a few things, uh, but we weren't specifically told what to do, so we just went soul-searching and tried to get him into a few things. Turn, Shakti now go. whizzes around the court like and lightning. Mm. We wanted to look at something to develop his posture when he's standing or sitting down because of his backbone. I can do forehand, serves and a bit of backhand. I'm best at forehand and I really like doing serves. It's really fun to get the ball up really high. The hardest thing of tennis sometimes is turning the wheelchair. Doctors predicted that Shakti would never venture far from his bed, but he can now walk with crutches and calipers. When we were initially told what his disability was and what was the outcome. Yeah, they and say to see on him what is uh, walking on crutches now, after nine years, it's a great relief because for the doctor to say that neck down, that's it, your son will be bedridden and paralyzed from neck down and to see him walking on crutches now, it's, uh, we're really, really happy oh, and very, very proud of him. Shakti Krishnan is a pocket dynamo. We followed him through his first Wheatbix triathlon. Organisers made sure everything was taken care of before he started. And so it's all about doing something like this with a whole bunch of people and, and participation, competition. Go, go. And he's off. Go, go, go. He's keeping up a wicked pace. As the show developed, so did I. I've been determined to make a difference however I could and help those who needed a voice or a hand. That desire led to the creation of the Attitude Awards. Keep watching as we honour the Attitude Sportsman of the Year. Proud to say that I came up with that idea and I put it out there and other people have run with it and they've turned it into something that is something pretty special. The Attitude Awards for me is something that people with disabilities don't often get to experience. That feeling of being recognised for your success, I think that's important and it's something that, that this community definitely needs more often. The Will Blacks are my family. They've been a huge part of my life since 1996. 
everything I do is geared towards making the World Blacks a better team. Athlete first, disabled second. That's how I live my life. I think I'd probably have those same goals if I wasn't in the chair, you know. I'd still want to be the captain of my side or the best player in the world of rugby league or whatever I, I did. team that can match it with anyone. Let's get that defense happening! The work that the guys do, that they're expected to do, is just huge. And that's why we say, look, you know, don't think of them as athletes with a disability, they're athletes. Because compare their training programs with any of the country's elite athletes, pff, it's no difference. I want to be the man, I want to be you know, the, the star of the team. I want to be the, sh you know, the shining light. Winning is everything. Last one, G. But who cares about second? It's about goal. It's about being number one. Now, the plan is to spend the next eight or so months travelling. Um, I'm not going to do any African safaris or climb the Himalayas or anything like that. It's um, I'm going to be basing myself uh, in America and I'm going to play a season of uh, wheelchair rugby um, out of Austin, Texas. Um, first of all, I go to Japan. I spend a, a week or so there playing for a team uh, at their nationals and then spend Christmas in the States and then uh, hopefully pick up a team in Canada as well, go out there and play. Working on attitudes, uh, it's taught me a lot of things. Uh, I definitely look at the world a, a lot differently now. Um, it's made me, I guess it's, it's made me want to advocate, you know, and stand up for people who um, don't have the strength or don't have the, you know, the energy to do it. Uh, I think we've done that over the past six years for sure. We've fought some people's battles for them and with some good results. Curtis, it's definitely not going to be the same without you around here. We just wanted to say we're really going to miss you. So from everyone here in the production office, safe travels and we're looking forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Bye.